Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue where it says you have an unidentified network on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I would suggest would be to go ahead and open up the Star menu. Select the setting gear icon on the left side where you hover over it, it says settings. So go ahead and just left click on that. Select network and internet. And then if you were using a laptop, you should select the airplane mode on the left side. And then on the right panel, you would just turn off airplane mode. There'd be an option that says turn this on to stop all wireless connections such as Wi-Fi, cellular, cellular, and Bluetooth. You just would toggle that to the off position. So once you're done with that, you would go ahead and just, like I said, turn that off. And that should hopefully be able to resolve the problem right there. If you're still having a problem, we can go ahead and open up the star menu. Type in device manager. Best result should come back with device manager. So go ahead and left click on that. Double click on the network adapter section. And then right click on whatever your network connection listed in here is. And select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. It might say the best drivers for your device are already installed. You can also search for updated drivers as well on Windows Update. So you guys, there are a couple different options there. Another thing we can try doing here, if you're using an Ethernet connection, make sure that it's plugged in properly. Maybe there's a faulty cable. You might want to consider swapping it out with another cable if you have one. You can also try restarting the router, so disconnect it from the wall and then plug it back in about 30 seconds later. You can also do a couple other things here too, and we're going to do them now. So open up the start menu, type in troubleshoot. Best result should come back with troubleshoot settings. Go ahead and left click on that. Select additional troubleshooters on the right side. And then underneath get up and running, select internet connections, find and fix problems of connecting to the internet or to websites, and select run the troubleshooter. It might give you some options here, so we can go ahead and just try and connect to the internet. And it will go ahead and run some diagnostic utilities here internally and see if it could resolve them without too much of an issue. It's not picking up a problem because I don't have a problem, so that's why it didn't find anything. Otherwise, it might actually give you some helpful advice here, or hopefully it would actually be able to ideally resolve it without any user input. So again, just another option there to explore. Another thing you try in this, I would try and restart your computer at this point. I mean, we've already done a few different methods here, so try restarting your computer. See if any of these methods have resolved your problem by now. And another thing we can try once you've restarted your computer would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevator command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS as it appears on my screen. So again, ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS is all one word. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully flushed a DNS resolver cache. And now you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset so again netsh space winsock w-i-n-s-o-c-k space reset r-e-s-e-t hit enter on your keyboard we will need to restart our computer in order to complete the reset go ahead and restart your computer to see if that's resolved the problem one final thing you can try here if all that's failed is that we can just reset our network adapter please keep in mind that you will need to have your wi-fi passcode nearby because we are going to have to restart our computer. You're going to be signed out of everything within five minutes. So you just want to make sure you save and close of everything and make sure you have your Wi-Fi password nearby because once our computer restarts, you're going to have to type that back in. So anyway, in order to do this, we're going to open up the start menu for the final time. Type in network reset. This result should come back with network reset. Go ahead and left click on that. 
and should say network reset this will remove and then reinstall all of your network adapters and set other networking components back to their original settings you might need to reinstall other networking software afterwards such as virtual switches and vpn client software go ahead and select the reset now button select yes your computer will automatically be restarted within five minutes if you don't do it manually here so we're actually going to just go ahead and restart our computer. Make sure you close and save out of any programs you may have opened and just go ahead and restart your computer here. Okay guys, once your computer has restarted and you can see you get a little network prompt here, hopefully your issue should have been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.